And if you're a leader, when you back off, everybody behind you has to back off. Then you get mad because they back off and you back off and they keep back and it just grinds down nothing. Has anybody in this room ever been in a rehearsal where the group got worse instead of better? What a waste of time. Well, what a waste of your life. I mean, come on. Seniors, you don't get that. That's why I always do these leadership things. Somebody's going to say it sometime. This is not a dress rehearsal you're in. This is it. The camera is rolling. Dr. Tim is one of these great national presences in music education, particularly in leadership for kids. Um, he is known everywhere in my field. I mean, you can't say Dr. Tim without people saying, oh my gosh, it's the most amazing guy I've ever seen. So he is the guy. I mean, he is the guy in leadership. He's the guy in strong music education. He focuses right in on the student level, of how it is to be a student leader. And that's so important in music programs. We work in ensemble, and a lot of times you'll have a freshman in a group with a, a junior or a senior, and it, how does that work? How is that organization going to be as effective as it can be? Because student leaders, it's hard. Kids don't have a lot of experience with leadership, or they even know how to be leaders. And he's a guy that comes in with humor, and with grace and knowledge and background and experience and can really hone in and improve a musical group by, by helping kids be the best leaders they can be. If there's going to be a change in the landscape of the universe, it's going to be with these kids here. You know, we're all set. We're locked into who we are. They have dreams, and if we can fuel it, everything's possible. This is Christmas for me. I, I am so blessed to be able to hang out with the very best kids in the school and the leaders of tomorrow. So I'm the one that always learns. I'm the benefactor of this, but to get to work with people like this, it, it just doesn't get, it's a teacher's dream come true. I mean, the arts are everything, let's be honest about it. When, when you go back to the, the original, you go back to Plato, he said there's three things that we, that we teach. We teach science and math, because that's going to be the future of tomorrow. We teach history so we don't make the same goofy mistakes that we made, and we teach the arts so there'll be a reason to have tomorrow. So if when we look at what we have ahead of us, the whole future is in that creative process, and that's why we cannot not have arts in our schools. Those are gonna be the leaders of tomorrow, for sure.